the War Sprite boys hold their annual sports, the visitors join in. And after that, they're so tired they sit quiet for the rest of the afternoon. The new game, hauling the Queen Mary. The idea of this game is to... He's lost it. A new way of making war, all the fun without any of the damage. Why go to Spain? He's dead. But as usual, the big show of the afternoon is the obstacle race, with obstacles that make it look like work. But you can always take a nap. He's going to, he's going to, he's not. The pessimists say it's a crooked world, but in spite of that, the plowman's job is to keep straight. And at the Chertsey competitions, they have the chance of showing what they can do. They say that this year, any teams that don't come up to standard will be sent over to Italy to take lessons from Signor Mussolini. To the true country lover, there's no more perfect picture than the muscular movement of the teams against their background of distant trees. But the judges keep their eyes on the ground. An inch out and he's out. Good work brings its reward, but plowmen don't care for ribbons. Minister of Health, Sir Kingsley Wood, pays a visit to the Worcestershire Hop Yards, and he gets a great reception from Mr. Hopper, Mrs. Hopper, and all the little hoppers. And then Sir Kingsley is introduced to Mrs. Billingham, who is 85 years old and been hopping for 50 years, and she still likes it. Some people sigh for the days of Mr. Pickwick and the stagecoach. Now's our chance to see what those days were like, with the coaching marathon from the Market Square at Aylesbury to Prince's Risborough. They're competing for the Champion Challenge Cup presented by the late Sir Harry Preston, whose passing was mourned by all good sportsmen. So this is what it was like in the good old days. Take those cars away, they're spoiling the illusion. In the ring at Prince's Risborough, there's the final judging, and the Challenge Cup goes to Mr. Bertram Mills. One more to add to his enormous collection. In spite of heavy rain, once again, the famous hill climb brings out the crack speed men and the cars of every conceivable shape and size to roar their song of speed up the thousand yards, one in six gradient with its two S bends. Number six is German Walter Bäumer on a supercharged baby Austin. Here he comes round the first bend and into the second, his wheels throwing up two walls of spray. But the rain kills all chances of broken records. Number 37 is Joan Richmond on the HRG special. Payne on the Fraser Nair. Evans on the MG. And a whole crop of cars with funny names. The Bolster Special. And here comes Fuzzy. Fuzzy may be a nice girl, but oh boy, is she fast. With the deepest regret, we present these pictures of the saddest day in the lives of eight true British golfers. They crossed the Atlantic to try and win the Walker Cup in a new way, by getting the ball as close as possible to the hole without letting it roll in. In this, they're much more successful than the Americans, whose ball will keep rolling into the hole. So when our men realize that they have lost without winning a single match, it's a great disappointment to them. Well, Francis, the American team certainly deserved to win. They're a very fine team of golfers, and they were much too good for us on today's and yesterday's showing. <laughs>